Okay. Well, speaking of the 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 Raptor on the starship, there was some news on that. I seem to oh, have baby. recalled saying at the yeah, beginning of this was there episode. Ever? Yeah, Elon just I goes. Thought I thought uh, I seen the tweet about it a second ago. Yeah, this is fun. So, and I had to read this a few times. I, I actually missed it. So, um, Elon said Raptor engine just reached three hundred and thirty bar chamber pressure without exploding. And for those of you keeping tabs, um, previously the only the, the previous record that we knew of for sure was two hundred sixty eight point nine bar, and they, they're hoping to get three hundred. I think I was looking for it. I think at some point he said they reached two seventy six. Um, I think was what we had known was the the highest peak pressure, and they're aiming at three hundred. Like three hundred has kind of been their target for operational pressure, and that and the chamber pressure, of course, is like the main combustion chamber. And then that's, you know, connected to the nozzle. So you're, you're measuring in that, in that chamber there, how high and, um, the, yeah, the previous record from the RD 180 was somewhere around, I actually, for some reason, I thought the RD 180 was like 275 or it might've been 265. So operating at 300 would be nuts. But then the other day they just took one up really high above 300 and they reached 330 and it still didn't explode, which is absolutely wild. And Elon even, uh, let's see. So get this so i this is what i didn't read close enough um so uh nasa spaceflight chris b said uh serial number 40 is or he asked uh what, what serial number are you up to and elon said serial number 40 is about to be tested and has several upgrades over that engine hmm. that they tested at 330 bar for reference 330 bar and raptor produces about 225 tons half a million pounds of force or that's 2250 like kilonewtons basically um yeah, so <laughs> they are absolutely knocking it out of the park with Raptor, and uh, hmm. and and they're, they're pretty much there's a direct correlation between um, chamber pressure and the amount of thrust, and generally the higher the chamber pressure, the the more efficient the engine altogether operates, just on a thermal efficiency level and a uh, kinetic energy like it's just better it, it, altogether really generally and it also produces more thrust so you can end up with a engine that's so now we're probably talking about an engine that's around 120 to 1 thrust to weight ratio and that's getting close to the the merlin which is the highest thrust to weight ratio engine in the world uh closer to 200 to 1 so they're actually closing the gap on the on the merlin and this is happening really quick i'm excited to see um i'm yeah i'm really excited to see what's going to happen uh if they can reach 350 even, you know, we're talking about some serious power. You know, what's still funny to me is they're up to SN40 on the engines and that's still not enough to power or to, to have one orbital super heavy and starship together. Right. Yeah. It'd be about 30, maybe, maybe, maybe just about. Yeah. It'd probably be about, uh, if, if there was enough surviving, which there aren't. We know of plenty that have failed spectacularly. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah, it's I mean, but then again, they, they went from I think it was only a couple months ago. He was talking about 30 was their max. I think right when I was making the video, no, or the I was doing an inventory check. And I think right at that time, it was about uh, for that video SLS versus Starship. They're making 30. And that was about three months ago. Mm -hmm. So they're producing about 10 a month. Well. That wasn't meant to be a, a comment on how slow it's going. It's it's Three just months. about how many engines are on each yeah. one of these things. It's just insane. They need to be producing them at that rate to yeah to be able to actually handle an orbital and starship. So, do we know? And uh, is there is there supposed to be another starship presentation coming up soon or before the end of the year or something? Yeah, apparently it seems in like I saw that September ish or October ish there will be another starship okay. update. Yep. Well, maybe maybe we'll have the answer to this here. But like, I know there's three engines on the bottom that are like sea level optimized is there, are there going to be three others that are vacuum optimized yep so there's going to be six total on the starship itself yes yep yeah okay yep and i think they've they've even been designing and, and working and preparing for vacuum optimized raptor already too hmm. so the raptor's going way it's really starting to shift from the development and yeah but it's spacex so it'll always be under development like even when they're <laughs> making the, but at some point you'd think they'd have to kind of freeze them to be like, hey, we want all these engines on this vehicle to at least be the same. So we're not like, oh, wait, that one code it a little different. You know, this one. Oh, make sure you turn that one yeah. up a little bit at this point because it actually performs totally different than that one. You know, like, yeah, I, think, yeah. I don't, I don't know them, what that's going to be What if like. they give them like pet names and stuff, you know what I mean? So they can refer to them and remember 
Like it's easier to remember if it has a name instead of just a number. <laughs> well, well, they definitely put googly eyes on the one that's uh, heading to the pad. Uh, that's <laughs> going up onto serial number uh, six right now. The the serial number six starship. They put googly eyes on it. Someone Mary from Poco oh, Mary funny. took a picture of that. Like yeah. like painted or like no, something like little, you bought like, off Amazon. Yeah, they just stuck them on there. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling. Well, somebody not in survive. Twitter, I want to say, was talking to you and were, was saying they should give these uh, Falcon Nines that are being reused so many times. They should name them. Yeah. Since they're going to be reused so often, I thought that was an interesting. I personally like I I don't have any like I don't have any desire for that. Like I'm really bad at names, and the names almost become more arbitrary and it's harder for me to remember. Then well, numbers. if you do it like they're just theme, numbers, you know, do it what? so l- like in the tech world, we would, you know, or also say the data world, we would always name things off of a, a theme. So like, let's say you chose Disney or something, you know, mm-hmm. you could like name or even or even like a specific movie like Jungle Book or something like that. You could like name your your servers after Jungle, Jungle Book characters, right? And so you don't say, oh, server, you know, X53, blah, blah, blah. You say Bagheera or Mobley or whatever, you know. Um, so so some new guy part of orientation is watching the Jungle Book? <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> so that well, he knows? The, the irony in that was a lot of times... Uh, especially in the in the higher tech space, you have people from all over the world working on your team, and so it's rare that like people from India and Israel mm-hmm. and China and the U.S. all have like a common like oh yeah I remember the the Little Mermaid or whatever right like, you right know? Uh, like some of those do translate but a lot of times but regardless like you can say oh I was on you know this server and and give it a name. So it's just an mm-hmm. easier reference point. I don't know. It seems like a fun idea. It's something something SpaceX might do. Well, and before we move on from the the topic of the Raptor and stuff, Rob Speed did have a question. Um, why have three sea level engines? Why oh, why have three sea level engines if you're running at three hundred odd, odd bar? Surely go for just three vacuum optimized engines. Um, yeah, that's almost like a why don't they just why why don't they just do uh, three vacuum optimized engines? For Starship instead of the three sea level engines, I'm curious if either you can get it. I'm not sure I know exactly what the difference is between a vac- vacuum optimized engine and uh, a, a, a sea level ground level <laughs> <Yeah>. sea level. <laughs> uh, window on the ground. Um, <laughs> I know that the 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 bell is bigger for the vacuum optimized because you have to funnel that that. Uh, that force in that direction because of the vacuum. Right? Otherwise, it yep. just goes everywhere. Yep. Right. Yep. There's so the longer but I don't know about the engine itself what the difference is. Well, the engine's relatively similar. I mean, you can oh, okay. have a virtually identical engine. It's it really is the nozzle that's the big difference. Oh, okay. Um, so, but why don't they just put three? You know, replace the three C levels with three vacuum optimized ones. I always wonder why they couldn't have like something that expanded out. As yeah, it, like the camping cups, up. right? Like little t- right, t- yeah, exactly. <laughs> they do <laughs> have that in the. They do have extended nozzles, like on the RL10 B2 that's on the Delta IV, and SLS will have that same engine. So they do have expanding nozzles. Those are a thing you can do, but they normally don't go like back and forth. You can only go from like one to the other, and then it's just stationary there. You know. Uh-huh. Um. So that is an option. I-, I would guess just for redundancy. It sounds like. You don't want to put all your all your uh, eggs in one basket there. Well, here, let's see if we can find a good video of, um, or a good picture of why why I know we won't really see, uh, <laughs> <laughs> see that. Uh, I can't find a good render right offhand, but uh, the the one of the big reasons is space. Those vacuum nozzles are freaking huge. Right. You know the final frontier. The the actual diameter you can't fit three vacuum optimized ones where the three sea level ones are because the diameter is so big they'd all be running into it like you just can't fit them in a nine meter core like those those diameter the 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 nozzles are like three meters in diameter almost or something and you can't fit three where there's three small ones like you just physically can't fit but the other reason is these do need to fire at sea level because these are the landing engines mm-hmm. these are these are what it will land on. And so if you, uh, the, the, the only way, even if you have a higher pressure, so, uh, Rob, it kind of sounds like you made a little bit of an assumption that the higher the pressure, 
um, the higher the specific impulse. While that's true, the only way to really, or that's potentially true, the only way you can really take advantage of that is through a bigger nozzle. So you do need a sea level optimized engine, um, or I mean, a vacuum optimized engine for the vacuum of space. But if you're going to be firing that at sea level, you will be destroying your nozzles if if you try to fire a vacuum optimized engine um, at sea level. Don't destroy your nozzles, people. Don't destroy them nozzles. So, so here's my question: If you have, if you have like sea level optimized, three of them in there, and then three of the vacuum optimized with the big huge bells, mm -hmm. are they like up deeper in there so that the the bell level is the same on all of them? I think, or it's else you would have like some lower than others, and you'd wind up flaming each other or something. I, I think you're right. I think the sea level ones will actually be kind of further down on like the thrust puck. So they'll be. That's what I was wondering. They'll kind of like start. They're in the middle lower. and the others are on the outside. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I think so. So yeah, pretty, huh. pretty crazy stuff. But um, yeah, that's. Well, it. so do you think this next one, SN6, are they still going to do just the one engine, like 150 hop thing, or are they going to put three on there? From what I understand, it sounds like they're literally going to repeat exactly what serial number five did, but sure. just try to optimize the sequences and make it so mm -hmm. it's not just this like that it doesn't take months. Like, I think they're trying to do it immediately. We're already seeing road closures for another hop in like a week. Mm -hmm. So there's a chance that, you know, this is what they're they're just trying to optimize that now and make it so it's they can roll one out because they rolled it out last week. Serial number six. That's actually what the other topic was here that I was going to do. Uh, oh. You know, we have. That they're just going to be rolling serial number six out and it already went out to the pad. It's already having its Raptor installed right now. Um, on Thursday, it'll likely uh, try to do a static or, or Thursday. It'll be done installed, I think. Static fire like this weekend or something already and hop next week or something like that. Like it's it's already coming on really, 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 really quick. Um, yeah, so I, I just hope that it is something where, you know, we don't have to wait months and months and months to see another hop again. But it, I think they're wanting to make it so they can basically be hopping once a week, once every is two this, weeks. Is this next hop the 20 kilometer one or? No, like that's uh, it'll still just it'll basically repeat exactly what serial number five did. Mm -hmm. And fun note is serial number five actually went back into that medium bay. So they're wondering, you know, people are kind of saying, oh, maybe they will actually reuse it. So there's a chance that who knows, maybe you'll see number five will do the same thing again. Maybe we'll get three Raptors installed. You know, who who really knows at this point? But um, yeah. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to OLFpod.com slash YT. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks, everyone, for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks, everybody.